हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टुडे इन आवर प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एस्टिमेशन वेल स्टडी पब्लिक प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ओपन टेंडर प्रोक्योरमेंट एंड विल लर्न ईच एंड एवरी डिटेल ऑफ ओपन टेंडर परचेज प्रोसेस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम नोटिस इनवाइटिंग टेंडर देन बिड सबमिशन इवेल्युएशन ऑफ बिड्स कंपेरिटिव स्टेटमेंट अर्नेस मनी सिक्योरिटी मनी लेटर ऑफ अवार्ड और परचेज ऑर्डर एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइनिंग ऑलमोस्ट ऑल पब्लिक प्रोक्योरमेंट एंटिटी एंड सेवरल ऑर्गेनाइज प्राइवेट सेक्टर make their procurement through open tender process only and each engineer has to understand this procedure as he has to work on both side of this open tender procurement either at purchase entity side or supplier side so let's start open tender procurement notice inviting tender nit or tender notification is a formal structural invitation to supplier to submit competitive bids to supply material product or services as desired by purchase entity within a defined time deadline after nit tender form is filled in the form of bids and bid are submitted at a specified time and position submitted bids are analyzed and selected to award purchase order and formation of contract the tender notice information with unique bid number and title of project must include the following the position where fresh tender form can be obtained and it is both offline from office and online from website or web portal the time and date up to which tender form can be purchased the tender fee approximate cost of project corresponding earnest money and security money and the mode of payment all are mentioned in tender notice the position and time for tender submission and opening is also mentioned in tender notice nowadays a brief information is published in newspaper and all other details are mentioned in website or portal only nowadays it is mandatory for all public offices who utilize public money for their working to publish their tender inquiries any correction queries and in that or details of bid award process on either public procurement portal or their official website and they have to also receive bid proposal through that portal only the government of india through its central public procurement portal having url this do all such activity on portal similarly state government also have their state public procurement portal as government of rajasthan got this url for their public procurement portal and a parallel offline and online activity simultaneously is followed by all offices nowadays some offices such as delhi metro rail corporation dmrc stop publishing their nits on newspaper and all concerned have to visit either e procurement portal of government or official website of dmrc to get tender informations in e procurement working tender is uploaded on internet and any vendor who meet eligibility specification requirements can make an offer on internet only all interested supplier can obtain standard bid document from the office of procurement entity or official website or public procurement portal after deposition of scheduled tender fee this standard bid document include all important instruction to bidders the criteria for eligibility and qualification to be met by bidders such as minimum level of experience if a bidder won't have that minimum level of experience he won't be eligible and he should not apply for that bid and if one without that minimum level of experience apply for such bid operation will be disqualified and not considered in bid process the standard bid document also include details of past performance of bidder the technical capabilities of bidder the manufacturing position and financial position of bidder and these parameters are evaluated before assignment of letter of award or purchase order to qualified bidder now standard bid document also include condition of contracts the rules of tendering process and the responses required in tender process and all the bids which are received in tender process should be evaluated only 
on the basis of or in terms of these conditions of contract standard bid document also include schedule of purchase requirement that specify what goods and services are required by purchase entity and criteria to evaluate bid proposals in the bid document specification and allied technical detail of procurement is also mentioned specification include quality quantity type of goods to be procured and these specification should be clearly spelled out without including superfluous and non essential feature which may result in confusion or unwarranted expenditure to procurement entity the specification are prepared with clarity and they are stated without any ambiguity the specification should be broad based so that sufficient number of prospective bidders become eligible and can submit the useful meaningful bids for procurement entity in the bid document bidders are not permitted to change specification or submit their own other standard terms of business they have to follow the specification and terms as stated in bid document by procurement entity the bid document also include the price schedule earnest money security money details amount and how they are to be paid the bid document also include contract form which specify legal format and other standard forms in limited tender procurement tender form is available free of cost and there is no need for earnest money deposition but in open tender process there is a certain amount of fee for tender form and earnest money deposition is also required each bidder has to deposit earnest money deposit that may be 2 to 5% of estimated value of procurement now this earnest money deposition emd is required to safeguard the interest of procurement entity from withdrawal or alteration of bid by bidders during the process of procurement but many a times bid registered with center purchase organization cpo or small industry of state or nation are exempted from emd in bid process emd can be submitted by demand draft fdr banker check or bank guarantee as the case may be and as a rule emd of all unsuccessful bidders is returned or refunded at the earliest when successful bidder got letter of award purchase order and signed contract interested vendor or supplier respond to tender notice and submit their tender bids before closing time and date in offline mode tenders are submitted in a box placed in office of procurement entity and otherwise tender bids can be submitted on website or e portal to tenders thus received are open on particular opening date at fixed time and fixed position in the presence of all available bidders tender bids are then subjected to evaluation by purchase team with respect to technical financial capabilities of supplier now during this step several stages of discussion clarification and negotiation with vendors or supplier is also undertaken by purchase committee now to ensure competitive process integrity offer which are submitted by interested bidders must be evaluated fairly on pre defined set of criteria without any biasing towards specific bidders now in this technical scrutiny process some tender bids can be rejected which might not meet the technical requirement of the purchase as mentioned in our tender document when procurement of high value plant machinery or product is required and that has some complex and technical nature then bids are obtained in two parts and this is called two bid system and the two bids are technical bid and financial bid the technical bid which is opened first consists of all technical details along with the commercial terms and condition as required in tender document and only successful eligible qualified bidders on technical bid base are eligible for financial bid comparison and financial bid indicate item wise price for item mentioned in tender process so in this two bid system technical bids are opened in the first instance at scheduled time and place in the presence of representative of bidders and a tender register on a new page detail of 
tender notice that include title of work unique bid number opening date earnest money requirement of tender all are mentioned all bidders are recorded with serial number 1234 and after opening their sealed tender envelope a number code a oblique b oblique c is mentioned to that envelope and it represent b as total number of bidder participating in that tender process a is the serial number allotted to that particular firm and c is the total number of pages or paper submitted by a bidder in technical bid now all official paper submitted by any bidder must be signed by authorized signatory for validity unsigned bid papers can disqualify any bidder from tender process now all the members of purchase committee also make their initial sign on envelope the covering page of bid proposal and all other attached pages of bid document and in bid paper if there is any cutting or overwriting then that also be attested with serial numbers by the team member of purchase committee and if they made three attestation then they should give those cuttings as serial number 1 2 3 so that in between those numbers no other cutting can be made afterwards after opening of the technical bid at the second stage the financial bid proposal of only these technically acceptable offers are opened for further evaluation and ranking before awarding the contract for that a comparative statement is prepared and that is also cross checked for eligibility criteria like all short of tax and other stipulatory clearance required registrations deposition of earnest money etc now in comparative statement for every item rates and terms quoted by all bidders are tabulated for easy comparison and it must be signed by one who prepared that comparative statement and one who checked the comparative statement and comparative statement is placed in front of purchase committee for further evaluation and decision making in comparison statement item and quantity to be purchased are mentioned in initial columns and all supplier or vendors are allotted other columns and corresponding to particular item row the price and terms and condition submitted by all vendors are mentioned for easy comparison so all eligible vendors are subjected to price comparison and purchase committee review each vendor proposal item wise and recommend which vendor offer best value for the money usually the supplier offering the lower prices is selected with a red circle for placement of order tender is awarded to that l1 supplier on the basis of rate comparison and purchase team sign this comparative statement and submit that to purchase entity and purchase entity issue tender award to l1 contractor and this final decision is notified and sent to all participating vendors as an information the contract of purchase is generally awarded to the lowest evaluated bidder who have given lowest rates for the supply of material products or services and whose bid has been found to be responsive and who is eligible and qualified to perform the contract satisfactory as per the terms and condition which we have decided in our bid document however when the lowest acceptable bidder is not in a position to supply the full quantity as the amount of supply is more than the capacity of lowest bidder then the remaining quantity can be awarded to next higher responsive bidder but the rates offered to the next higher l2 or l3 bidder would be the same as rates offered by the lowest responsive l1 bidder so on rates of l1 we can divide the procurement quantity among more than one bidder but the higher ratio should goes to the lowest l1 bidder the procurement officer and his purchase team can also verify all relevant scan document submitted along with bid document from original documents available with the bidder if it is required before letter of award or purchase order is issued the procurement office will issue a letter of award or purchase order with an instruction to deposit security amount and to establish a contract as per the terms and condition mentioned in tender process with specified time 
say a week or two if a bidder fail to execute tender contract in specific time or in specific format then his earnest money deposited at the time of bid submission will be forfeited and that firm is debarred from all procurement activity of this office now officer can either cancel this purchase process or call l2 bidder by issue of new letter of award for purchase procedure and he may now ask l2 bidder to deposit security amount and establish contract as per the terms and condition mentioned in our tender process after receival of letter of award or purchase order and contract document within 7 days both parties will execute and sign contract and the supplier or contractor also deposit the security amount or add additional amount in earnest money to make it equivalent to security deposit now after signing of contract the terms and condition of contract become legal binding to both parties it means the supplier firm that won the tender must deliver the goods or services in the time frame and terms and condition as agreed upon in tender contract and will get the amount against that supply as agreed in tender contract once contract is signed and security money is deposited by the successful bidder then the procurement office will announce to all unsuccessful bidders about their status and closing of bid process by refund of earnest money of all unsuccessful bidders and now the project will be executed as per the contract signed between the supplier and purchase entity we hope this beautiful learning video has explained each and every part of public procurement and now you could understand the different stages of open tender procurement from issue of notice for invitation of tender bid submission evaluation of bids on comparative statement and letter of award or issue of purchase order and in the process the role of earnest money and security money our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful and you can use them in your studies and even share them with your friends and you can also use our other playlist and if you need valuable study notes from our channel do join the channel membership thank you very much have a nice time happy learning